here, good old Texas. <laughs> no snow, <laughs> just a lot of good sunshine, Aaron Moran. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Texas, that is right. Uh, you know, we had a little bit of cloud cover this morning, no rain though, uh, and certainly we've had the sunshine this afternoon. The clouds though this morning did help to keep temperatures in the mid and upper 50s for most of us, and we uh, now are starting to see 70s thanks to the clouds eventually breaking. But our Dallas time lapse shows a really pretty picture this morning with that low fog. By 9 o'clock, it began to at least lift a little bit, and then into the afternoon, we finally. Finally got that sunshine that was promised along with south winds at about 10 to 15 miles an hour, sometimes even higher than that. So helping to allow temperatures into the mid and upper 70s. And yes, we do have a few spots in the low 80s. If you were watching CBSN, we were talking about maybe some spots west of I-35 getting into the low 80s and at least Breckenridge right now, 80 degrees, 78 in Fort Worth, 76 in Dallas, 73 in McKinney to about 72 in Mineola currently. So tonight we've got partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. I think by 7 o'clock temperatures are still in the low 70s. Once again, not expecting it to get too cold overnight. Still upper 50s, a few spots in the low 60s. You may still want your jacket heading out the door tomorrow morning, but we've got a very nice fall weekend ahead. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Take a look. 75 degrees for tomorrow, 76 on Saturday. Gets a little breezier into Sunday. We've got partly sunny skies on Sunday. Temperatures topping out at 77 degrees in the afternoon. The warm up comes ahead of our next frontal system. Doesn't look to be quite as strong as what we were thinking initially yesterday, but we do have another round of cooler weather, another frontal system expected for the end of next week. So just something to keep in mind. But we've got upper 70s with mostly cloudy skies from Monday. Coverage is at 20%. We get to Tuesday, we've got some scattered showers, maybe a few storms around in the morning. Cold front is making its way from the west to the east into the afternoon. We have the system pushing off to the east. We're clearing behind it. We've got temperatures in the mid 60s for Tuesday afternoon, and then we're expecting temperatures to be, uh, or I should say, mid 70s for Tuesday afternoon, and then we're expecting temperatures in the upper 60s on Wednesday. Not exactly a big rainmaker. We're looking at maybe trace amounts, some slightly higher amounts, maybe in Paris and Palestine. We haven't had any rain so far this month. We didn't see much rain for the month of October either. So drought conditions, they've been steadily getting worse. Now, remember back in September, we even had some severe drought ongoing. We had decent rainfall in September. We get to October, we're doing fine with drought, but we didn't see much rain. Got a little bit of rain at the end of October. Now, as we make our way into November, we're starting to see those drought conditions returning uh, abnormally dry to moderate conditions for parts of North Texas including the Metroplex, and I don't think the rain we have in the forecast next week is going to help much with it. But we still get the sunshine the next couple of days. We've still got the mid and upper 70s. Cold front arrives on Tuesday, so 30% chance for a few showers and storms on Tuesday.